So recently I was able to find the new Moon Knight figure from the Blackheart Build-A-Figure Wave, The Strange Tales. I'm very hyped I was able to find the Moon Knight. I feel like he's probably going to be a bit more of a difficult figure to find in the wave. On the back there it shows you all the other figures. I don't recall if I had the full wave, I only really cared to get the Moon Knight figure. They did have that Wolverine though, and it looked cool enough, but I don't really know anything from that run, so I don't care to pick up like my 1800 Wolverine figure. Some really badass art on the side here. Uh, I think that's really all for the box here, you get a good view of all the accessories in there, and let's crack the guy open. And here is a shot of the accessories here. We got, uh, I don't really know the name of this piece here, but it's a part of like the whole like Egyptian vibe that Moon Knight's kind of based off of. And I already switched out some of the hands here, but I really enjoy the moon shape on all of the hands here. I also like in the knuckles there, it looks like they're kind of been raised with like metal. It looks really cool. You would not want to get laid out by Moon Knight. All these little toenails over here are his moon ring things, and they are just fighting. They are jumping to get eaten up by the carpet. After this video, they are instantly getting thrown into a little bag. There is a bigger one here as well, and something I didn't realize that was a feature. So you can see here between uh, the knuckles, there is those three little ports. And you can throw in the little moon rings and it can be like he has them between his knuckles before he uh, throws them. So I want to get a cool shot of what that would look like. There is also this bow staff here and it looks like it's the one that came with the Gambit figure but it's just been molded in white. Then here is a look at the black heart head for the build a figure. Um, he uh, like the sculpt on this looks insanely cool you can see all of the different sculpted detail on it uh, I don't know too much of the Blackheart character it's dope having like at least the head of the builder figure uh, maybe at some point I might pick up some of the bath pieces online but it kinda the Toy Biz version of this character it still was a really dope figure I had it at one point, but it was one of those deals where it was missing the arm from like a garage sale kind of thing, and it was lost to time. The head sculpt looks dope. I uh, might track him down at some point. Alright, so here's the Moonlight figure outside of the box, and honestly, this is such a dope figure. I really enjoy all the articulation. He holds his accessories really well, and at first, I don't, I wasn't really vibing with like the gold kind of Egyptian look to it, but it's kind of grown on me and it does look dope. And you can see here there is all of the little blades in there. They're kind of hard to get them in there without them falling out, but uh, it's kind of dope that you can at least do that. But these guys are probably going to go into a Ziploc bag and never be touched. Damn, he looks super dope. Might make a custom cape for this guy, that'd be kind of cool. Just because uh, the cape, it's very thick and it kind of limits some of the articulation. But uh, speaking of articulation, I guess I can jump into that vibe. So the head, it's going to be limited just because of the hood. It can't really get any back because of also the cape there. You can do left and right, but again, it's not really going anywhere you're gonna probably just be having them post down like I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Shoulders going crazy though. Arms will go up very far and then there is the butterfly joint which is very welcomed. The butterfly joint slaps. There is the bicep swivel. Double joint at the elbow. Kind of gets blocked because of the gauntlet here. Then there is the hinge joint at the wrists and then the swivel as well. You're gonna get ab crunch down, and then probably, oh, yeah, you're gonna get some back there as well. And you even get the thigh swivel with this belt. You hear that astonishing X Men Wolverine? The legs are gonna go out this far, and kick forward very high, um, kind of get the back there. There's the upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee. There is the boot rotation, you hear that? That's Wolverine. And then you're gonna get down, 
up and then show him his prime meme. All right, so we can jump into some size comparisons here. There's the new Luke Cage figure, got the Toy Biz Punisher. There is the MCU Moon Knight. And you can see obviously where the inspiration came from with the whole gold idea. And there he is next to the Bucky Cap Mold Daredevil. I wouldn't mind doing some motion with these two. Maybe teaming up, maybe scrapping at first, I don't know. Ooh, I have so much stop motion ideas I'd love to get to, but stop motions take a lot of time. Try my best, guys. Damn, he does look really dope. I am glad I was able to find this guy. If you missed your chance on some of the Moon Knight figures, I would highly recommend grabbing this guy. He looks super dope, and I am glad to have a bit more of a classic comic book look to Moon Knight. I think that's going to be all for this video. Just wanted to give you a quick look at the new figure. He's super dope, and I would highly recommend picking him up if you don't got a Moon Knight figure, and you want to waste, you want to waste all your money just like me. <laughs> Bruh. A custom cape for this guy would be really dope, but regardless, it's still a really dope figure. And I might get to making my own custom cape for this guy, just so he can move around a bit more instead of that big clunky cape in the back there. But regardless, still a really dope figure. And thank you for watching, goodbye! Like, comment, subscribe please! Thank you!